Hi there, Tammy from Stampin' Savvy. Thanks for joining me. Today I've got a fun project just in time for Father's Day. It's an origami inspired men's gift card holder that looks like a, a men's shirt. So you open it up and it has a slot here for the gift card and it's designed to sit upright. So let me show you this one. This is using the Tranquil Textures Designer Series paper. It's a new paper that just came out June 1st. There's the gift card holder. Fits right down in there, a spot for a sentiment and a place to sign. Fits right up underneath the collar. And then again, it just sits up like a card. Really simple, quick, easy, and fun to make. So let me show you how to do that. So what we're going to need is we are going to be using our Stampin' Trimmer and a 6 by 12 inch piece of designer series paper. You're going to want to have a pencil and your bone folder. And then we're also going to need some glue dots and some snail adhesive. So glue dots, snail adhesive, and your bone folder. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, and this is just my suggestion, is you've got a score blade and a cutting blade. And I was making some of these. I accidentally used my cutting blade, um, not once, but twice. So here's my tip is, for the sake of this project, go ahead and just take the cutting blade off. So if you look on your trimmer, there's a wide spot here at the bottom. If you just slide that onto there and then lift it up, I'm trying to do this backwards, so it should lift right off. It's curved onto this arm, so you want to lift it up this way. And then just take that off and set it to the side. That way, the only thing you'll have on here is your score blade and you won't make the mistake that I did where I cut my paper instead of scored it. So, okay, we've got a six by 12 inch piece of paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our first score at four and a half inches. And then we're gonna come down and we're going to score at one and a half inches. So the four and a half and the one and a half are on the short side, the six inch side. And maybe that's a little bit better. Actually, we'll work off of that side so that you can see that a little bit better. Okay, now we're gonna rotate it. And on the long side, we're gonna score at four inches, five and a quarter inches. And then I'm gonna come up here to six and a half. And that little mark that's right in between on the bar, that's six and a half. Okay, so let's do six and a half, and then we're gonna come all the way to the end, and we're gonna use the mark that's on the right side of our uh, blade line, and we're gonna mark it at three quarters of an inch, and we're gonna score that. Okay, now from the opposite end, so there's the three fourths inch here, so from this end right here, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and gonna line it up here and we're gonna mark it at the two and a half inch. And all you need to do is just do a little tick mark there and then just kind of follow that line down and be a tick mark there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the outside tick mark to the score line that's right here. And we're gonna do a diagonal line here. So from the tick mark to the score line, oops, here and here, line those up in the groove. Sorry, you won't have that problem. It's hitting my um, my video equipment here. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing from this side. We're going to go from we're going to go from that tick mark to that score line there. Okay, 
Whoops. This never seems to go easier when you're on camera. Okay. And with the exception of two more score lines we're going to do at the end, we're going to go ahead and set our paper aside here. And now you get to decide on which one that you want to be on the outside and which you want to be on the inside. So since it's easier to see the score lines on this side, but that's kind of cool on that pattern, let's go ahead and we're going to do it this way. So now what we're going to do is on the long, the two long sides, we're going to go ahead and use your bone folder for that, okay? And then there's our diagonal lines and they're gonna go fold it out, okay? And because we did these, it just makes them really nice and easy because we did these on the trimmer and I boo-booed. It just makes it nice and easy. Okay, now, for the first, that's the four inch mark that we had made. It's gonna go up, okay. This one is gonna go back. Flip it back over and then that's gonna go back towards you. So what you've done is you've created an M, if you can see that, and that's the part that's gonna sit. So now you can see that is the front of the card. This is going to get folded back. Okay. And because we're gonna be going through two here and actually four here where the collar is at, we're gonna take this back over to our trimmer and we're gonna use our trimmer to score these lines. So what we're going to do is grab your pencil and just pick a line. So if you can see, I'm just going to use the two right here and I'm going to line that center fold place there with that. And then on either side of that line, I'm just going to put a tick mark a half an inch on either side. Okay. So there's the center where I had it, and that's a half an inch, and that's a half an inch, if you can kind of see that there. And then we're going to rotate it this way, and, sorry, let's turn it this way. And we're going to put it at two inches, but we're not going to score it. You're just going to mark a little tick line there and there. Okay, now we're going to take and we're going to line that tick mark and that tick mark, which is, oops, I'm sorry, there's the tick mark there, hard to see, and we're going to do a, a diagonal between those two. And you kind of just do that a few times since we're going through so many layers. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing this way between the tick mark and the tick mark. Okay, and then those are going to fold in, and voila, that's how your, that's your collar right there. That's it. That is the card right there. So let's set this aside. Okay, now go ahead and let's grab your glue dots, and... On the inside corner here, okay, we're going to use a glue dot there, and we're going to apply a glue dot here. Okay, that just kind of helps that to stay down and in place. And then the front of the collar still is loose, okay? And we're going to do the same thing to just kind of hold these in place. So kind of about there, we're going to put a glue dot, and here we're going to put a glue dot, okay? So let me bring this one back in here, and I'll get the gift card out. 
So this is where the gift card is, and you don't need to glue any of this down because the folds will keep that in place, okay? And then to finish this off, what I've done is I have taken the largest oval from the Stitched Shapes Framelit set, and I ran it through um, the Big Shot and cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I am using the Treat Yourself. It's from the Picture Perfect uh, birthday set. It's the Treat Yourself right here. And this is Shaded Spruce. So let's go ahead and just do a quick there. Set that aside. And then let's just take some Snail. Okay. And that's just going to go right there in the center. Okay. Now, go ahead and fold it up and slide your front up underneath the collar. Just like that. That's how it's going to sit. And now, if you've got a button box like I do, I keep assorted buttons. Uh, True Gentleman also has um, some buttons that you can use. So go, we're going to go ahead and use these. Bring your glue dots back in and then starting at the top here go ahead and put one at the top one kind of just try and get them lined up and our last one is gonna go right here and there you go. There you have it. All ready to give. Place for you to sign. Slip your gift card in. Is that just not too cute? So both of these, like I mentioned before, these are from the Tranquil Textures Designer Series paper. And I've got some samples here I'll show you of the patterns. That's this one here. This one. So this is from, oh, one more. And then on the back side, all masculine colors. Those would all work. Another set of designer series paper that would also work is the Nature's Poem. So any of those would look really nice. Those would work. And then it's got solids um, or nice um, kind of stripes and patterns on the back. So that one would also work. Use whatever you've got. Um, it just needs to be the 12 by 12 designer series paper cut down to the 6x12. I will have the score line measurements on the blog for you. I hope you enjoy this project. If you need a Father's Day card, I hope you enjoy making it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Happy stamping!